Hello, I am Rhythian, and this is World of Warcraft. Ladies and gentlemen, and assorted creatures of the underworld, today we're going to have some fun. Specifically, we're going to do some pet battling. Yes, Pokemon in WoW. That's Middle Rogue, and this is Clamps. Clamps is my proest pet, first level 25. I'm going to start off by showing you a little tactic I like to use to level up new pets quickly. And after that, we'll see what happens. But what you want to do is you want to go to the chain, the Kalimdor Battle Pet Tamers thing. Talk to him. Don't pick up the daily. But that auto accepted. That's dumb. Let's abandon that then. See, what you want to do is fight him first normally. And it's pet battle time. So, I'll be starting off with Clamps, who is an aquatic pet. And he has the following abilities. He's got Snap, which is just damage. Hard damage versus critters, lower versus flying. He also has Renewing Mists, which is a heal, and then the big badass super heal, Wish. Which is pretty damn good. And then I can swap out pets and stuff. But the point is, you want to start off sort of by just uh, wearing down these low level pets with your higher level ones. See, it does some sort of strong ability there, I don't like it. But it doesn't matter. I'll heal it all up. He's cheating, mainly. This uh, fire dragon pet is pretty damn strong. He has a life exchange thing, and then like he just heals back tons. Doesn't matter. I'll just burn him down, just brute forcing. A level 25 pet just hits pretty hard, quite simply. This is level 13. Meanwhile, just healing it all up with mists. So one down. My guy quite likes that. Now for the snake, again, you don't just burn it down. The snake is a critter pet. No, it's a beast pet, actually. So... You can see up there if I wasn't blind. Which takes more damage from mechanical, but uh, gets less from humanoid. Also, it has a thing where it does extra damage when it's below half health, which it is right now. Which doesn't really matter to me, I'm just gonna kill it at one go. There we go. Now, this is Prancer. This is the reason why you go to this boot first, because Prancer is more of a defensive pet. So what you want to do is you want to swap in your pet, and this pet I'm going to swap in is Ziggy. The little imp, which is a rare drop from uh, Molten Core. And I've named it after Zoe's imp, the one she used to play. So then what I'll need to do is make sure I can take one hit. Thankfully, I could. Uh, however, normally she does more of a defensive thing. Now, I swap her, swap Siggy out again, go back to... Let's bring in a Nixie, my little Nixie and Webling. And just burn him down. Since both Clamps and a Nixie are level 25 pets, that means they don't take any experience since they're already max. Which means that the game will give Siggy experience as if he took out three level 13 pets on his own. And we'll see how far that jumps him up. Hooray! Victory! Boom! 1200 experience, so he'll drop to level 7. Now we finish this quest, so we go uh, take up an actual daily quest now. And then we try fighting him again. Um, we could actually probably just heal first. Because... No, it's fine. He got healed from leveling up. So we don't need to waste the cooldown on the revive spell. So you go again. Burn him down. Wow. Thanks, camera. This is such a good view. I'm really glad you placed the view here. There we go. Much better. He keeps doing a bunch of weird stuff, this little fairy dragon. I don't like it. That's the thing, the life exchange, which is pretty damn strong. And that means he also has a shield more than max health, so even when I hit, no damage. In the end, again, it doesn't matter, brute force. It's a strong pet, and you can get sort of similar sort of pets from around this area. It can be pretty handy if you want to level it up. Right now, though, I'm leveling up Ziggy, so that's the point. And I'm using my level 225 pets to do it. Let's just burn him down real quick. By brute forcing it. Now, that Ziggy's level 7... I don't need to worry too much about him getting one-shots. 
and therefore it'll be much easier for me to swap him in one turn and take a couple of hits every now and then. So, oh, here we go, for Prancer. I actually have... I'm, oh, I gotta make sure to actually put in Ziggy early again, no experience at all. He's also got... Uh, see, he's weak against critters, which apparently this guy is. He doesn't look like a critter to me, more like a beast, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do, use Cauterize to get some health. I just need to actually do a turn, that's fine. Meanwhile, Prancer's just healing. I'm gonna bring in Clamps to finish it off. I'm gonna pop up a Wish. Uh, it's a pretty strong heal, and I don't want to have to waste the thing, so if I can wait for a round before Wish hits, before I kill him, I'll have full health. Oh, nice. There we go. Almost full health from the Wish. And to finish it off, there we go. Should be quite a chunk of experience for Siggy again. So in two fights, he's up to... What level? Ten? Nine? Nine. Cool. I can just turn in this, get some gold. Now that's a good start. Now, for the quest, the calendar quest, we still have a couple of lefts. We have Kellogg, Razzle, Sultan, and Elena Flutterfly. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, Kella first. She's in the Thousand Needles. She's a Grim Totem. Oh, which is the evil Tauren. Not as evil as the young ghoul in Pandaria, but still. But the point is, you do this repeating quest, uh, which is almost like a daily, but not quite a daily. It's just acting as a quest, but you can get it every day. Um, specifically the Kalimdor one. This is for Horde only. I think, I'm fairly sure, Alliance gets a similar one for Eastern Kingdoms. If you fight all the pets, all the pet tamers, twice, starting with Trader Glue, because he's the weakest one, you bet your pet up to level 9, and then keep doing it for the other one, you'll roughly end up at the end at level 13, 14. And then you can start bringing in some more higher level stuff. What we're going to do, after we take out Kella, um, I'm going to go over to Northrend, which is where I'm doing right now, for some proper leveling up or high level stuff. But first, let's get some stuff going on. I'll also show you off some of my favorite pets, actually, eventually. The pet battle system is pretty much Pokemon. I don't think anyone's ever tried to pretend otherwise. You have a bit of a trading system, but not quite, because you can't trade pets that you actually capture in the wild, but you can trade every other pet, which is quite a lot, anyway, and so... If you get achievement pets, or pets from drops, or so on, you can trade them. Uh, I've bought a lot of pets, actually, in the auction house. I've sold some. Mostly bought, though. I'm kind of rich. Uh, not super, super rich, but rich enough. Alright, first let's take out these chumps. Yeah, now what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sap this guy. And then I'm gonna stun him. And then I'll attack him to death, I guess. Anyway, so the key to do is to make sure you don't pick up the quest first, because then you'll finish both of them at the same time. So you need to start the manual, think you can take me in a pet battle that you have from this quest. And let's rumble. See, at this one, I can actually, now that my pet's level 9, I can pretty much start with it out. So I can instantly take a hit and then swap back in and finish the rest. Saves me a turn, because now I need to swap, do something, swap again, and swapping takes a turn. Alright, bye little beetle. Oh yeah. Goblins are cool. I think last time I made videos on WoW I was Alliance, I'm Horde now. Horde is... Horde's the best. And since there'll be really a few people play WoW anymore, of all the Yogscast people, it might as well. In fact, Ships and Shin... Sorry, Sips and Shin... Uh, both play WoW right now, actually. Uh, both are in this guild. Uh, Shin doesn't play as much as Sips, but... And none of them play as much as me. Alright, in Ziggy. See if actually I can do some decent damage with him. Because he's weak to me. Because he's a beast. So he's weak against humanoids. Or if you can see here, like I take less from critter ability. No, not beast. I guess it's his ability. That's the thing. You have your yourself, and you also have your abilities that are specific thing. This is a burn ability. Which is, you know, strong versus mechanicals or whatever. Anyway, point being, he's still six levels ahead of me. So I might as well just go back and finish it off with clamps. My awesome magical crawdad. 
I love the music in the pep battles, by the way. This one is pretty much straight out of Warcraft 1, possibly 2. That's pretty good. It's like lo-fi music. It's really nice. Alright, down you go, Chaguana. There we go. This should bust Siggy up to level 10 at least, if not more. Level 11? 10? 11. Cool. And then we repeat it again and do the same thing for all of them. But let's not show that entire thing. In fact, why don't I just go straight to Northrend? So, first of all, while we're flying there, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna teleport. No, oh, kill that guy first. We're gonna teleport. First what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick our team. Now, of course, we're gonna have Clamps, the Crawdad, and Onyxie, the Onyxie Whelpling. But for this third spot, we want something cool. And something good. Uh, so, and also fairly high level. The important thing is that you generally want to try to keep to a diverse set of uh, types of pet battles or battle pets. If you're really pro, you have like 20 different max level pets that you can shift in and out depending on what sort of enemy you'll be facing. Um, I haven't really done that much research, personally. Uh, I don't even, in fact, know much about the people we're going to face. So we're going to see if it's actually going to be a success or not. We're going to start with, let's see, the guy in Howling Fjord. So, let's go talk to Beagle Blastfuse. Kind of like goblin name. I wonder if he's going to have mechanical pets. And here we are. Mr. Beagle. Who's doing stuff with his birds. Dinner, warble, and gobbles. I'll tell you what, Beagle Blastfuse. We're gonna fight you. So we're using clamps, of course, and an exceeding well whelpling. Now the other choices we have are another aquatic pet, which takes more damage from flying, which is not great, even though his pets probably all died. Uh, we have this one, who actually takes less damage from my pouch. It's only level 18, though. It's either that, or bring in uh, Robo Lalna. The mechanical gnome, which is pretty good. Um, he has a couple of halfway useful abilities. I'm gonna give it a go with a little Taragosa though, because she's pretty strong. She's gonna be a third one, if the other two can't cut it properly. Alright, Beagle. It's you and me. You have a great day now. Level 25 turkey. And it's flying alright, which means it's not good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the Renewing Mists. Okay, she's going to get a pretty heavy hit now. Oh, look, someone's actual pet is sneaking into the phase. That's fine. I'm going to swap you out for... Actually, tell you what, I'm going to use a Wish, because this is going to hurt hard. Ha! Miss. Nice. Pop a Wish, then swap into uh, Onyxia. Or little Onyxie. And then see what we can do here. This is weak, because I'm strong versus flying. So I can bust out... Uh, I almost have specifically strong versus magic, though. That guy's really just running around here. How annoying. I'm going to do a deep breath. Deep breath is a strong attack that takes one round to charge. And then the second round it hits, and it hits pretty damn hard. Here we go. Come on. Big hit, big hit. 658. It's okay. It's okay. Um, the alternative I have is just to keep pounding on with a normal breath, which is still pretty damn strong. I'm going to do that for a bit, just to give me more flexibility, so I don't have rounds so I'm just charging. I have a healing ability as well, called Healing Flame, which is good to do if I get a heal, uh, heavy hit, because it heals based on what I usually did. I should take out Dinner now, also leaving me quite low. And also, I have reduced... Well, actually, increases the damage taken. There we go. It's probably going to have similar sort of things. I'm going to pop a heal and then see if I can swap out. I... Oh, man, I got slept. I don't even know what that was. He threw a thing at me. Help. Help, I'm sleeping. Help. Um, maybe you should do something? Beagle? Hello? Oh, okay. I have to swap. Interesting. No, I put out clamps then. 
Alright, so speed increased. Interesting. My normal hit isn't going to hit hard. So I'm going to pop up some heals. Especially because it's strong versus me. I'm going to risk sending in Terragosa, which is a lower level pet, but I have some heals running. And she can do quite a bit of damage. In fact, I'm going to try using this one. This is Surge of Power. When I do it, I get lots and lots of damage. But then I need to recharge for two rounds afterwards. However, I do have two rounds of healing going on, so let's hope for the best. She's weak against me, so... Here we go, lots of damage! Nice, Eight, turn on turn 9. I have to regen a bit, sadly, but I should be fine. One more round. Uh, put me to sleep again. Can I switch to Nixia now? Yeah, I can. I'm gonna do a little breather. We need to get some heals going here. Let me take this guy out first. Nice, that's one we're done. The last one, Warble. This is also an aquatic pet, actually, because it's a penguin. Which is... Takes more damage from flying, less from undead, which I should be fine against, honestly. I'm gonna swap in clams, then. We're on an even footing here. Oh, slippery ice. That's just a accuracy down, which is fine. Bye, beholder, dude. Oh, he did a strong attack against me. Hmm. Maybe he has a different sort of ability that isn't specifically aquatic. Oh, I'm gonna get a nice tomb. That's not good. I'm gonna see about just getting some damage done. Because that ice tomb's gonna hit, and I'd probably rather hit clamps, because clamps can take it. Oh, goddamn. This is gonna hurt. Hopefully I'll be fine, though. In fact, I'm gonna swap in... Ooh. Onyxia is low. We're gonna get a heal off, hopefully. Uh, it's not a massive heal, but something. I'm gonna get some damage burning on this guy. Till I can throw in my other ones. Ice Tomb again. That's gonna hurt. But it isn't the end of the world if Phoenixia dies. We can res her. We still have two more pets that are alive. In fact, it's quite low. Maybe I can do a deep breath. Oh, no, no, the tomb's gonna hit me. That was a bad decision. Right before I get the kill. Oh, no. Rest in peace, little Nixium helpling. Don't you worry. Tygos is gonna come in to finish the job. With a massive arcane. Well, actually, that's the wrong one. Now that arcane storm's actually pretty good. Gives. Uh, stops me from being stunned, because I put in arcane weather. I think. I don't actually. Yeah, there we go. Arcane winds. Pets kind of be stunned or rooted. So then, the ice team would do as much damage to me. The main reason I did this was to bring in the surge of power, which is a pretty heavy hitter. They should actually level up Little Targosa quite a bit as well. Oh, you missed! You're kidding me! I have to sit there and take some hits. Not good. Hmm. Do I dare stay in one more turn? I think I do. Breath doing... I miss again! Oh, that thing is so annoying. I'm gonna need to bust out a heal. Guess at least now I don't get uh, stunned. I take damage, though, I guess. Well, this is not going to end well. I can tell already. Oh god, I'm screwed. I am so screwed. Miss, please! Oh, god damn it. Well, I was close. Luckily, we can all do it again. I want to swap out. Have a landline instead. See, the gnome, the clockwork gnome, is a mechanical pet. Uh, she doesn't really have any weaknesses or specific to flying or anything, but it's a stronger pet. It's my sec third highest level one. So I want to have it in here anyway. Uh, I might pop a turret here. Oh, come on. It's like he knows every time I'm going to do something special. So I'm just going to swap it out instead. All right. I think what I'm going to have to rely on is the strong damage from Nixia with heals. Just 
sort of brute force it. Take, oh, stop dodging. Well, it's not starting great. Typically, of course. I need to get more heals going. St Why does he know when I'm going to heal? The little bastard is cheating. I'll pop a wish and swap out. I'll give uh, Nixie a good heal. Because the wish will hit on her. There we go. Almost full already. That's what I need to keep doing. Alright, well, keep going, Unixia. The thing that's dangerous now is that she's got 100% more damage taken. But she's still burning through these very easily. It's generally Warble that becomes an issue. I'm gonna do a heal for my own. Swap in clamps, do another wish. So I'll have full health basically when uh, it's time for Warble. It's a really strong com like combination by using this for other people that'll hit harder. And this time we have a higher level pet to do the backup as well. I mean, Targosa does good damage, but it's on level 18, so less health and gets taken out pretty easily. Oh god, I hate that. That's the worst part of the entire fight. Because now I'm probably going to miss the uh, deep breath as well. Oh, thank god, that was a strong hit. You make me proud, Anixia. You make me proud. That's how it's done. Finally, <laughs> taking this guy out. Hooray! And lots of levels for Robo Lelna. Who's now level 24? Never mean taking you out. Cool. I have three people left in uh, Northrend. But, um... I think I might level up some more pets first. It's nice to have different options. Anyway. Thank you all for watching, and, uh... Until next time. Goodbye.